Well, this is a uh, peace talker, and I will be getting back on this piece uh, uh, later on today, hopefully. I've got to take it to the foundry tomorrow. Maybe if I don't get it today, I'll at least get it tomorrow, the first thing in the morning. This lady and uh, finish up the beadwork on this arm here. I got beads that I made last week. I wasn't here Friday. I had some unexpected business on Friday and I couldn't make it in the studio at all, so I apologize for that. All right, let's get busy. What I did was I laid out tape evenly with a space between. This is how wide the rows of beads are. And what I do is I just uh, cut off the end, the narrow end of uh, one, the new one. And I just lay it there and, uh, and I just uh, start uh, cutting them the same length. Okay, now this is how I pick it up. I got a little uh, plaster spatula and I just bring it up against the uh, edge and I push and it breaks loose from the board and so I can pick up a whole uh, group of these little buggers. Let's see if I can get this to focus. I can pick up a whole bunch of them right on the edge of this uh, tool. Now I take that bunch and I bring it over and I try to line it up there and that works fine and I just pull the tool away and uh, press it onto the uh, curved surface to make it look like a lazy stitch. All right, I'm just gonna continue doing this. got the uh, beadwork done on this side and uh, this side. It looks pretty good. Um, need to go through and start adding clay to the edge of it. Okay, you, you uh, see how uneven the edges are. So what I want to do 
do is even them up, and uh, one way to do that is just put clay along the edge, press it up against the uh, beadwork, see how it evens it out, and you just uh, draw that piece of clay back into the dress itself, and it looks like it was never... Uh, uneven and it looks like it was sewn on instead of just pasted on. Well I picked up these thumbtacks. They have a perfectly uh, smooth and rounded top which looks like big brass discs which uh, she would have traded for. So I'm going to put these on her dress. color these brass tacks to look like clay just to make it less confusing to the eye. Now as I've said in the past, I took a piece of clay down to the uh, paint store and uh, had them match the color. that's as far as I'm going to get today on this. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow morning I will uh, work on the, uh, the Indian, uh, the, uh, the protector. Uh, Wednesday I'll come in and finish up this clay. I've got all the discs on um, and I've got uh, more work to do on the hair, much more work. So I've got probably maybe two or three days worth of work on this and then it'll be done. And then I'll start another piece, and this one uh, will be the male, and I'll start him while I've got her here in clay. That way I can match uh, the size and the proportions of the two. All right, well, have a great night, guys, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>